Hi, uh, welcome to the second video in a series of video on the Canon EOS 500D, otherwise known as the Canon Rebel T1i and the Canon KISS X3 in the US and Japan. Um, just before I start this video, I'd like to say thank you for the people that, re that viewed and subscribed uh, from watching the first video uh, where I covered the uh, general layout of the camera body and the control dials and so forth. Um, so what we'll do in this one is we'll go over the general setting up of the camera so as if you've got it out of the box with the kit lens so we need to set it up, put the battery in, uh, memory card and fit the lens and we'll go over uh, doing that. Uh, so what we'll do first is we'll fit the battery let's move the memory card. The battery that the camera takes is a Canon LPE5 battery you probably won't be able to see that there. Okay, and to put the battery in the camera, make sure the camera first is turned off. And you may know I've also got the body cap on, as it would come packaged as well. If you've not got any lenses on the camera, I recommend that you do keep the body cap on um, when storing the camera. So, just excuse the shadows. There we go. So, we'll open the bottom. It's just a little catch here. And pull the flap down. This battery is fully charged because I've done a recent shoot for a client shooting HD video um, on Thursday night. Um, so, there we go, in goes the battery. Okay, so that's one battery in. So, what we'll do now, camera's still off, is we'll fit the memory card. So, this side flap here, okay, is where the memory card goes. So, it just slides forward and open. It doesn't take a lot of force. The hinges seem quite strong but I'll just be careful and make sure you close it properly so it doesn't catch on anything and we'll fit the memory card. The memory card that I'm using is a SanDisk um, SDHC card uh, Extreme 3 so it's a class 6 card which is recommended for using for HD video on the Canon EOS 500D. Um, it's a 4 gigabyte card this one so it goes in like so with the label sticking not facing outwards. There's a guide on the lid here which shows the general shape of the card um, so you can match that up. So here we go. And we'll close that. And now what we'll do is we'll fit the lens. Okay so here uh, I have the Canon um, EFS 18 to 55 um, IS kit lens. It's image stabilized. Okay, it's also oops, set on manual focus, so I'll change that. Image stabilization is on. So what we'll do is we'll fit this lens. So we'll remove the lens rear cap. Okay. Which just covers the uh, the rear elements in the lens. You can see the contacts there. And we'll turn the camera around. And we'll fit it to the camera body. Now, always make sure that, okay, yeah, the battery's in that's fine, not a problem. Make sure that the camera is still off before you fit a lens because you're making an electrical contact at the end of the day. So we'll turn this here and we'll fit the lens. Now it's generally recommended that when fitting a lens we tilt the camera body down to prevent any dust from getting in. As we fit the lens, um, if it's on a tripod you can point the tripod slightly down as you fit the lens as well. But for the purpose of this video, just so I can show you how the lens mates up um, to the uh, lens mount here. Okay, we'll just leave it as it is. So you'll notice there is a white guide or a white mark, and there's also one on this camera lens as well. We need to meet those two up and match those up um, to get the, the camera body to accept the lens before we can lock it into place. The white mark is for the EFS series of lenses, so the lenses which Canon produce for their crop sensor cameras. 500D, 450D, 350, 400D, um, the 40 and the 50D as well, and also the the new Canon 7D. So the red marker you see there is for the Canon EF series lenses, so the 50 mm prime lenses, um, the rather expensive L series lenses, and so forth. Okay, so we'll make those two up. So make sure the marks are level, and it doesn't take a lot of force to cut, to fit into the camera body. Let me just do it turn until you hear it lock into place and that's the lens nice and secure on the camera body. Okay, let's turn the camera around. So what we'll do, we'll take the lens cap off, shall we? Might help. 
and there we see the front of the 18 to 55 mm lens as it's mounted on the Canon 500D. Um, it's fairly compact setup, it's quite a flexible lens, the kit lens, a good walk around lens. Not particularly long, but uh, fairly wide. Okay, so there we have the lens fitted. Um, the reason why I wanted to show the lens fitted as well, actually, is just if I turn the camera back round. It's just to cover this button here down at the bottom. That's the lens release. So how we take the lens off is we press this in, and then it will, it will be able to turn and, and come away from the camera body. Okay. Now this button just below is your depth of field preview button, um, which will show you the effect that your chosen aperture or your depth of field will have on your image through the viewfinder so it gives you a kind of a little bit of a, a quick preview um, not really used it that much myself um, but that's what that's there for we'll cover that again and depth of field in more detail in later videos so uh, here we go once you turn the camera on uh, what you'll get is a rear screen like so okay and the camera is set on program mode at the moment I'll just Put that onto uh, onto auto mode. You've got here, which tells you how many shots you've got on the card. You're leveling your battery. You may notice that this screen's actually a little bit blue, and um, that's because the white balance on my video camera is set for the the lighting that I'm using to light this video at the moment. Um, it's actually grey in colour. Um, you've got set quality. That is JPEG large. Comes out the box set to shoot JPEG. Uh, why they set it to do so, I'll just press the display button to wake that up, um, I'm not sure, um, but it does come to, to sh set to shoot JPEG at first. Here, it tells you which shooting mode that you're in. Okay, ISO will always be on auto when you're in auto mode. And the additional settings like auto white balance, your metering mode, um, single shot, your focus setting, which you can't change in, in auto mode, and your picture style as well. So other options, as you go through and change the actual camera shooting options, will um, activate if you like, or can then be changed. So that's how you set the uh, camera up for your first shooting. Um, I haven't had to set the clock on this one again, because it's already been set, because I've already unboxed and set the camera up. There's a battery inside the camera body, I'm assuming, that keeps the time. Um, but now, basically, you're ready to shoot um, with your 500D. So what I will do in future videos is cover um, the menu systems and so forth and different shooting shooting modes. Okay, that's it for this second video. Just a quick one. Uh, don't forget to uh, comment, um, rate, and subscribe. Provide feedback. Um, in particular, on the uh, on this video, I've changed the lighting. I've got an, an additional light um, from feedback that I've had, um, so it's actually easier to see the camera body. And so hopefully that's improved the viewing. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Bye.